Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to the precipice of the stupidest and probably closest to illegal thing I have ever done on video. Behind me, I have what is hopefully, for your sake, the worst thing you've seen today. This is my server closet. There are servers in there. And not only are there servers in there, there are graphics cards in those servers. And this whole time, I've actually been stepping on one of my servers that we're going to be deploying in today's video. It's, it's a very strong server. Hi guys. First of all, yes, these are the best shorts I've ever had in my entire life. And second of all, yes, in today's video, we're going to be deploying my third server. Am I the kind of sane human being that can be trusted with three high capacity compute servers? No, I'm not. Am I the kind of person stupid enough to figure out how to buy them and equip them myself? Absolutely yes, so let's get right into it. This server is going to be what I call the second most inefficient compute server on the planet. It is second only to the server that is the top two in this closet. That is a super micro six GPU compute server. Now I say six GPU, but what I actually mean is six graphics cards. And I'm, and I'm running that with 12 R9 Fury Xs. Each one of those is drawing 150 watts. Doing that quick electrical math, that is a 1.8 to 2 kilowatt server of graphics cards alone. At peak power draw with all cards maxed out and the fans maxed out, that server can draw upwards of 2.5 to three kilowatts. Unfortunately, it only has two 1000 watt power supplies when equipped on standard 120 volt AC. So I only have 2000 watts to work with. So we have to work slightly down clocked for those cards. For the compute power that it provides, two and a half kilowatts is literally the most inefficient way to do it. So I have dubbed that server the most inefficient server in the, in the world. I can guarantee no one has done anything worse. And if they do, if they did, tell them to send me an email. I'd like to work with them on something worse. Now the server below it is actually the Tesla M40 gaming server we built a little while ago. While that server is also inefficient, it actually has, it has a real purpose and the cards are actually utilized properly. So that's absolutely fine. Now this server is going to be almost as inefficient as the other server, except it's not going to have Fury X's. And those who know what a Fury X is are probably wondering how I fit 12 of them into a six graphics card 2U server. Well, it's very simple. I use these. I should probably unplug it first before it chops my fingers up. Let's save this baby. And this graphics card right here is one of my favorite new discoveries. This is an AMD Fire Pro S9300 X2. And on this server graphics card, there are two R9 Fury GPUs. Codenamed Fiji, or for this one it's Capsation, but you get the point, some Caribbean fucking island. Each one of these GPUs has 4096 stream processors and 4 gigabytes of high bandwidth memory. You know, that first gen super inefficient high bandwidth memory. Which is part of the reason it's my favorite card ever. It has two 8-pin connectors, which is a little underpowered for my taste, but whatever, and is most comparable to the Radeon Pro Duo of 2015. That card had three 8-pins, this one has two, it's basically the same. Now, if you've heard about this card before, it is recognized in Windows as a S9300X2, not a Fury. But I'm stupid, dumb, and fucking insane, so I've actually modded these graphics cards to each report and draw power as if they are two R9 Fury X GPUs. You know, that GPU that came stock with a fucking liquid cooler on it? Yeah, this is two of those. And that server behind me is 12 of them. Yes, I have tripped many breakers and I have broken at least two surge protectors. I'm actually down to this, uh, I can't, can't really show it, this super fucking expensive industrial one that has actually tripped twice already, even though it says up to 1875 watts. Whatever, and then I'm going straight off the outlet here, 20 amp breakers, whatever. 
Now, you may have noticed that I've taken out these two cards. Now, this other one is a Radeon Instinct MI8, which is just a single Fiji GPU, and it's adorable and tiny, and I have four more on the way. Video on this coming soon. I will game on it. AMD, you can't stop me. You have tried to stop me, AMD. AMD, fuck. I will game on your server graphics cards. And I wonder why I don't get any sponsorships. Yes, these two cards are will be leaving as they don't support the kind of compute this server is going to do. Now, these two cards, there are two on the side, are going to be staying. This is two Fire Pro S9170s. These cards. Now, I have a third one here and a fourth one off camera. The fourth one actually won't be going in today's server. This is going to be a three S9170 compute server. Each one of these cards is equipped with 32 gigabytes of GDDR5. Yes, this is a single GPU card with 32 gigabytes of VRAM. This server could have four of them for 128 gigabytes of combined VRAM, but I will be cutting that down a little bit to a measly 112, 112 gigs. We're only gonna have 112 gigs in today's system, but that's fine. So this card, we're going to install our six and eight pins. And install in the... Uh, I guess this is upside down, technically. Now that that's installed, we can talk about the other two graphics cards going in this. Instead of an S9170, for our last PCIe slots, it's a dual slot card. I have actually opted for two Fire Pro S7150s. An 8GB card, released a few years ago, that is actually just a single slot. I happen to have two of them, and I have one brand new right here. These things are pretty cool. They're basically a single slot R9285 or R9380 with eight gigabytes of VRAM. Two of these cards should actually be slightly better than one of these 9170s, although within margin of error. I have a couple more of these on the way, but these are my only two. And they are brand new. Still have the plastic on them. Oh yeah, I don't think I have to say don't try this at home, because if you can try this at home, you probably have a really fucking cool home. Although, I would check your local regulations, because if you try this at home, it, it might even be illegal. There we go. We'd love to see that. It's so fucking loud. And now we just screw our cards in. There's a very low chance this actually functions. Oh. My fan being disconnected might not help me. Now, if you're wondering like most of you probably should be, what some lunatic, some stupid, dumb idiot who doesn't know what he's doing, is doing with three high-density compute clusters, or one high-density compute cluster, depending on how you define a cluster, the answer I have for you is go fuck yourself. Now, one last thing to know is this system does have a fifth, well, actually now it would be a sixth graphics card, and that is our lowly NVIDIA Tesla P4. I'm still working on gaming on this Tesla P4. I'm just very stupid, so if you know how to do that, give me a call and we can set something up. This goes in this dumb slot, which is not meant for Tesla cards. It's meant for a SFP Plus connector, but I made it work with a graphics card because I am... So, our Asus ESC 4000 is officially complete. All that's left to do is plug this thing in and hope that with its modified graphics state, it doesn't absolutely fuck my entire electrical infrastructure. Which is kind of its goal, it is called the electrical infrastructure fucker, but, and just like that it's ready to go. Let's turn this thing on and uh, see if she purrs. This is going to go very poorly and it will likely trip the breaker in the other room that it's plugged into. I can't see if it's working because this screen is turned off because it's also what contributes to the breaker's tripping, but I can manage the server from this handy dandy app on my phone that I can't tell you what it is because they don't pay me. Airflow definitely works. And if you're wondering where the server is going to go, it's just going to stack on top of the other ones. NVIDIA Piss Boy is offline. There we go, it has just come online. With a little bit of time, patience, and a whole ton of crack cocaine, you too can achieve basically anything. Now according to the app, I am drawing currently 4.8 kilowatts. I'd say we're doing pretty well. So guys, with that being said, that was server maintenance for today. 
If you'd like to see more server maintenance, leave a comment in the comment section below and a like on the like button. They're actually technically not legal. Can get absolutely butt fucked. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. I'll see you next one. I'm actually basically homeless at this point. Peace.